All right, another video. I'm gonna try out my two bass drums here. Um, just upgraded. Got uh, the Thomas set here, um, double bass. Um, this is the stock heads. I'll show you here. What we got is uh, the front is a weathered head, but it's got uh, dampening right here. You can see that second layer right there. And uh, this is the uh, the beater side head. Same thing. Yeah. It's just a clear head, and it's got that. So what I do have in here is I have a uh, pillow. And the new bass drum uh, heads I got are Aquarium. Um, they've got dampening material on the uh, first one is the regulator on the front side. It's got the pre cut hole in it, and then it's got dampening material right here. I thought the black on black, somebody suggested that on one of my other videos when I was reviewing this set, and I was like, oh, yeah, that is a pretty good idea. And on the other side, better side uh, got this super kick three uh, it's got a power dot here and uh, of course some dampening material around so you don't have to put any uh, pillow in there but uh, hear that compared to I mean this is just completely different and you'll see the different sound here uh, they're completely different I'm not sure uh, not like the uh, original stock heads. Uh, actually, I thought they sounded really good. You'll get the two different sounds here. So this is the stock head. And then uh, the new one. So that kind of sounds more boomy than this. It almost sounds like a floor tom or something. There's no uh, pillow in this one. It just got that damping material on the heads. I think this would sound really cool with double bass. I just had a single uh, single bass, I think. Kind of like that better. All right, so uh, before I went, go on, I figured I'd try different things. So I've got the uh, regular head and then the stock. Uh, Thomas Stockhead here. I forgot to mention these are 22 inch bass drums. Uh, they're the Silver Star, so all birch shells. So, yeah, regulator head and then the regular Stockhead. That sounded pretty good. I, I'd loosened this slightly. It was pretty loose. All these are very, I've got them kind of loose on all the uh, tuning here, so. set back together and I'm going to go over some uh, Aquarian um, performance two heads and versus the stock heads on the toms and we'll see what the whole kit sounds like together. All right now I'm going to go over some toms. I uh, got uh, some Aquarian performance two drum heads or double ply. Um, I'll show them to you in a second but um, this is this is the stock heads. This would be the 12 and the 16 inch tom. And then um, I went ahead and changed the uh, 10 and the 14 out. That's the Aquarium uh, performance too. double ply the uh, stock heads I think are single ply they sound like it so you notice it deadens the sound down and it makes it uh, kind of a deeper tone it sounds really good with these birch shells Again, the stock heads. I've used these performance uh, too on uh, a lot of my sets I've had and I've really enjoyed them so I always 
my change out heads from stock heads, I always make sure to get those that's stuck that. And they're very easy to tune. All you do is, uh, you know, tighten them up until you don't see any creases anymore. Don't over tighten them. They're meant to be kind of loose, loose, loose fitting heads so you can get that nice tone out. Alright, let me uh, change up the rest of the heads and uh, I'll uh, play the whole kit for you. Alright, let's take you around the back of the kit here. I got it all set up now. Uh, there you go. There's the uh, what they look like. Set black with the clear. And then I uh, changed out my uh, snare head to the high energy. Um, and then, of course, there's the uh, bass drum right there. So, there it is. Tell me play a few licks for you and uh, you could hear what it sounds like all together I really like those performance to uh, heads there so yeah let's see what it sounds like here I got the uh, bass drum sounding better <laughs> 